Hi, I'm Jason. This is Technique of the Week. Today we're going to be showing you a simple way to check the moisture before you do a coating on a floor. Uh, I think as everybody probably knows when you're doing a coating, like the worst enemy of a coating is, is moisture coming through, through the slab. Um, today we're just going to be showing you a simple thing that will give you peace of mind on that and uh, that will that'll just really help to ensure that the job goes, goes well and you won't have any failures. I remember when I first started into this business, I used to tape plastic down. Like that was the old school way. We'd go back the day uh, before we were gonna start or when we were you know, bidding it, and I would tape a piece of plastic down and then come back the next day and if it had moisture underneath of it, then that meant that I needed to look into the slab for it or maybe it wasn't completely cured. I remember way back, uh, it's probably been like, probably 10 to 12 years ago, and we, we put a floor down, put a coating on it, and, uh, it completely failed. The floor completely failed. We ripped it off in sheets. Just picked up the, the coating, peeled it off the floor. Uh, you want to talk about like a, a real sick feeling. Uh, that that's it. So, uh, but one of the reps for the company that we were uh, the, the product that we were using brought out one of these things, and I was like, and it was off the church. It had pegged off the church. What had happened? What we had found out happened. They had, they had covered the floor. Um, it was kind of, they poured it in the fall and they put uh, a covering over top of it right away. And that coating hadn't breathed the whole winter. So it was trapped in there. So it didn't cure, even though it was like four months later when the coating went down, it didn't matter because it was, it was trapped. It had way too much moisture on the floor. And that's what this would tell you. If I would have had this beforehand, it would saved me uh, tons of money. So what, what, this, what this thing does is it has these pegs on the back that, that sense uh, how much moisture is in the slab. And all you do is you push it down and it gives you a reading of uh, between one and six. So anything under five is, is usually good. So if you press this down on the floor and it pegs it to, to six right away on the scale, you gotta start looking at, there might be other problems. This will give you uh, the indication, okay, I need to start looking for other, figuring out what's going on here. So this little, this little thing here, I think it's like six or seven hundred dollars for this thing, but I'm telling you, one job that, that you that, that it catches something like this and you don't have a failure, uh, that's that's money well spent. So I'd recommend everybody that's doing uh, floor coatings uh, to get one of these. It definitely gives you that peace of mind. The other thing that I don't want to do with this thing is just test it at one spot because the slab's different. You know, depending on where you're at on the slab. You know, it can have different moisture contents depending on. So I would definitely check an exterior wall and check it in further and just see what the differences are. Um, don't check it just in one spot. Thanks for joining us this week on Technique of the Week. Man, I appreciate you guys watching these videos so much, man. It really uh, means a lot to us. Um, and thanks for giving us uh, that opportunity. And if we, here's the thing. If you guys keep watching and subscribing to these videos, we'll keep making them as long as the, uh, you guys are still getting some value out of them. So thanks a lot and we'll talk to you next time, thanks.